Hello, I'm Anne Wawadu. Here's a Channel TV morning news update for November the 6th, 2019. Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoinka has asked the federal government to take a decisive action against Boko Haram, armed herdsmen and Islamic State in West Africa province, ISWAP. Professor Shoinka, who made the call in Makurdi, the Benue State capital at a meeting with Governor Samuel Otom, says they are terrorizing Nigerians. On his part, Governor Otom says that he is again filing a formal complaint to the security agencies calling for the arrest of the president of the Yeti Ala Kato Ore. Meanwhile, a federal high court in Lagos has ordered the Nigerian army and the chief of army staff to suspend the ongoing operation positive identification by the army. Justice Rilwan Waikawa ordered both parties to maintain status quo pending the determination of a suit filed by senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Femi Falano, and adjourn further proceedings till November the 18th. Staying with legal matters, the trial of the former chairman of the Pension Reforms Task Team, Mr. Abdurashid Maina, was stalled at the federal high court in Abuja due to his sudden ill health, which placed him to bed rest. At the resumed trial of Mr. Maina, who is facing 12 counts of alleged 2 billion Nara pension fund fraud, among other charges, an officer of the Nigerian Correctional Service stormed the court with a medical report issued by a doctor with the service. On the international scene, a global group of scientists have endorsed research that says the world is facing a climate emergency. The study, based on 40 years of data on the range of measures, says that governments are failing to address the crisis and without deep and lasting changes, the world risks untold human suffering. And in sports, Borussia Dortmund fought back from two goals down to beat Inter Milan 3-2 in their Group F clash in the UEFA Champions League on Tuesday. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later for the evening recap. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.